Devils, welcome to the Zero Waste Stories. My name is Vanessa and today I'm here with you because I would like to share five super easy zero waste swaps you can make to reduce your waste, especially if you're currently living on campus or attending in-person classes or maybe if you work at ASU, uh, this is for you, so keep on watching. First swap and probably the most important one, and you probably already heard this multiple times in your life, but switching to a reusable water bottle. Drinking from individual plastic bottles that come like this is a super common habit, but it's also super expensive. We know that plastic requires a lot of natural resources to be produced. We know that the water that comes in it probably contains a lot of chemicals that are not super good for our health. And even if you commit to recycle every single one of the plastic bottles that you use, uh, plastic is a material that deteriorates very quickly as it is recycled. It loses a lot of its quality and a lot of its value. So just switching to one like this, which you probably already own one at home, is a great way to save money and in the long run to prevent hundreds, maybe thousands of plastic bottles from ending up in the landfill. If you're on campus, definitely take advantage of the multiple refillable water stations that we have around. And I promise your wallet and the planet will thank you later. Second swap is switching from disposable plastic bags to reusable bags. Americans throw away 100 billion plastic bags per year, which is about 300 bags per person. Only 1% of plastic bags make it to proper recycling, which means that 99% of plastic bags end up in landfills or contaminating our environment. All of that waste could be eliminated if we all switch to reusable alternatives. It doesn't have to be anything fancy and it is very likely that you already own some kind of bag to hold your stuff. Could be your purse, could be tote bags, could be cloth bags, your backpack, anything. In anything new, take advantage of what you already own, what you already have at home and find creative ways to refuse plastic bags. Maybe if that means sometimes carrying your own stuff with your hands. <laughs> Twap is switching from disposable plastic utensils to reusable utensils, like the ones you have in your kitchen. Uh, probably most of us are guilty of this. When we go out, we don't really think twice about grabbing a pair of disposable utensils to eat our food, which also comes in disposable packaging or disposable containers. And when we're done, we just throw it in the trash and forget about it. And this is scary because this is what millions of people around the world do without thinking. A good tip to reduce your waste is to always carry handy a pair of reusable utensils in your bag. A good tip is to uh, have a cloth napkin and wrap it around your utensils so they're not completely loose in your bag or, or your backpack. And when you have the chance to use them, take them out and feel like the coolest person in the room because you probably will be. And if you use a cloth napkin tip, there's a double benefit right there because you also get to uh, refuse disposable napkins. Fourth recommendation involves reusable to-go containers. If you're an ASU student uh, on a meal plan, you're probably already familiar with the super cool to-go containers that are being provided thanks to Sun Devil Dining. Uh, if you're not a student, we still encourage everyone to always carry with them a food um, container like this one uh, in order to avoid potential food waste when you eat out and to also avoid packaging waste. Last recommendation is that you choose reusable face masks over disposable ones. It is super sad to see, especially in the last few months, that our streets, our oceans are being highly contaminated with uh, disposable face masks and other protective equipment. If you have the option to choose one or the other, please choose to reuse. There shouldn't be any excuses now as there are so many available reusable options out at very affordable prices. According to the CDC, the use of a cloth mask with two or more layers of breathable, washable fabric, of course, combined with everyday uh, 
preventive actions and physical distancing are uh, effective measures to help slow the spread of COVID-19. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know which item do you think is most essential for you and why, even if I didn't mention it. And also, let us know if you'd be interested in participating in Zero Waste in the next few weeks.